We'll welcome everybody to our pirate adventure uh, of the virtual digital escape room, our pirate adventure. Welcome, welcome. I'm really excited. And as people come in, um, I will invite you um, or I will allow you to be in. Um, but if no one comes in, that's OK. I'm going to get this posted. Um, on YouTube, so you'll be able to access uh, those items as well. So I am going to share my screen. Or I'm going to attempt to. Second here. Share here we go. And. Da, 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 da. Let's see. All right, I'm trying to get us. Okay. All right, I think I am sharing my screen now. Oh. OK, I think we're looking at me again. All right, let me hopefully you can see uh, the screen here. Oh, I think I just turned it off. OK, let's try it again. There we go. All right, so we are going to start with uh, that link that I posted. And uh, this is the escape room. So um, I'm going to just start by reading what it's all about. And I just got to check them from time to time here to make sure nobody's coming in. OK, so pirates have sailed into your school and have taken your teacher hostage. You and your classmates try to run after the pirates but they lock the door behind them. You are trapped inside. You notice a small leather bag on the floor that must have fallen off the waist of one of the pirates during all the commotion. Search through the bag, solve the puzzles, and escape the classroom before your teacher walks the plank. So we're going to start here, and I'm just going to put my name in. And our password today is... Ahoy. And then we're going to click next. OK, there is a key somewhere in the classroom. Look around the globe, the tape, students desks and the clock on on your reference sheet. Draw a line connecting each picture with its match. Every square must be used only once. You cannot draw a line into a square that has already been used. When completed correctly, you will see four numbers. So that, um, let me check and make sure we don't have anybody coming in. Okay, uh, so this is our reference sheet. And this is what they're saying is gonna create a number. So I'm just gonna use my drawing tool and it says I gotta match my, my pictures. So I'm gonna match my world to my world. Um, and I'm going to draw a line to that. And then I'm going to draw a line to my tape measure. And I'm going to draw a line to my chair. And I'm going to draw a line to the clock. So if we look, we can see the numbers one, two, six, five. So on my answer, I'm going to put one, two, six, five. Yay, we found the key. Check to see what your teacher keeps in there. All right, so we use the key. Um, it's full of keys.
but which one is for the lock? Luckily, your teacher left some clues on their desk. Look closely on the teacher's desk to see if the items spell any words. Okay. I think I've got my stuff all mixed up. OK, so let's go back to our reference sheet and see if anything we're doing. I don't think this is in regards to what we're doing, so. This should be spelling some kind of a word. There's our key, OK, so here is the word. Which key opens the door? So can you see by looking? Which key opens the door? Looking through all my papers here. OK, let me go back to this reference sheet because OK, so it's just these two. All right. Um, let's see if there's anybody coming in. Who's coming? Just checking. All right. So this should spell a word. Okay. So there's a hint. Ignore the sharpies. OK, so if we're excluding the Sharpies. T O N. What do you guys think? What do we think this answer is? Um, luckily, your teacher left some clues on their desk. Look closely on their teacher's desk to see if the items spell any words. Ah, uh, I think it's. S K E L. Maybe. Yay, so we escaped that, but now you must find out where the pirates took your teacher. One of the pirates dropped their small leather bag in the classroom. Search through these contents. Click next to solve each item. OK, the black dots on the map must be important locations. Figure out the names of the places and write them near the correct dot on the map. These colored letters might help you. OK, so the red letter is T R E Treasure Cove is near the marked treasure. Okay, so treasure. Cove is near the marked 
pleasure. Oh, I have to do it in all caps. Okay, good to know. Treasure Cove is near the marked treasure. All right, yellow. D O L Dolphin Point is okay. Let's do that. Dolphin Point P O I N T is the um, is the Eastern part. E A S T E R N most area. I did do it in all caps. Okay, do it again. Dolphin, D O L P H I N point. The most area. I did it all in caps. Blue Skull Cave is S K U L L C A V E I S South of the Treasure. I don't know why this one's yellow. D O L P H I N. D O L P H I N. Point is the is the E A S T E R N most area. Dolphin. I don't know why it's being point. I don't understand why it's not going because I typed it right. So let me get out of there. All right, let's do this one again. Full. Cave. Is south. of the treasure. 
Dolphin. D O L P H I N. D O L P H I N. P O I N T. Is the E S T E R N most It is in all caps. Well, I don't know why it's being difficult, so we're going to go back and try it again. I don't know why it says that because I have it all in caps. So let's try it not in caps. Dolphin point D O L P H I N P O I N T I S. Area. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why it's being difficult, but. came up. Next. Measure. area. Yeah, I don't know why it's doing that and it's not going to let us move on. Until we get it right. Try again, all caps. Okay, dolphin. Area. Okay, well, it's not gonna let us move on until we get it right and I'm not sure what to do. And it won't let us move on.
I'm not sure if guys, um, it's not letting me put it in. You see it as I see it here. Let me make sure. I've... Oh, I see. Evidently, easternmost is one word. Just so you know, easternmost is one word. All right. So you just discovered three of the locations. Remember to write them in on your map. Where my map is. Oh, here's my map. So what did it say? It said. I don't want to do it again. There we go. Treasure Cove. So we need to write this down. Treasure Cove. Is near. The marked. Treasure. Dolphin Point is the easternmost area. And Skull Cave is south of the treasure. So we're just writing, I'm just writing this down on my map sheet. So when you pull up your reference, this is your map and I'm just kind of writing it down. OK, remember to write them on your map. I wonder what these jumbled letters mean. Pentagon, which is this. And triangle. So um, to decode this, I think we carefully follow the lines. The letters found on the Pentagon path will form a sentence. Uh, similarly, the letters on the triangle path will form a sentence. So on the Pentagon path, A, C, H, O, our Anchorage is next to the anchor. Okay, so Anchorage is next to the anchor, right? And our triangle is B-L-A-C-K, black, B-E-A-R-D, black beard, B-A-Y, bay, is near, the winds wind see uh, cloud blackbeard bay is near the wind cloud blackbeard bay is near the wind cloud. Yay! Five locations on the map, write them down. It's not a trap. Then search for each place right below. Circle the letters when they show. Lastly, all JMQXZ that you find, cross them out leave them all behind. Look closely at the remaining letters and all will be clear. Aha, at last, a message appears. Okay. So it looks like on our map, we have five 
dots. So on here, lastly, all J, M, Q, X, Z. So we're going to cross out J, M, 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 J, X, and Z. So we have to go through and cross out these letters. So we're crossing out J M Q X Z. J M Q OK. All right, well, let's go through and do that real quick. So X. Let's see. Um, X, Q, M, J, Q, J, M, Q, X, Z. J, I'm just going through. So we're crossing out all the J's, the X's, the M's, the Q's, and the Z's. And we're marking them off on our sheet. And then we have to see what we're doing after that, but let's get that part done. Okay. M's. J's. It's like playing bingo. Isn't it? So right now we're just crossing out J, M, Q, X, and Z's. Okay. All right, look closely at the remaining letters and all will be clear. At last, a message will appear. When the five locations have been found, so we need to find our locations, five locations. Okay, the remaining letters were full. It will be helpful to write down all the remaining letters in order starting at the top. 
OK, so we have. So there's a B, a T, an E, an A, a C, a D. OK, so we need to mark off. Dolphin. Because we already solved this, so it's dolphin. Point. Right, that was that last puzzle we did. OK, so I got dolphin point and then we've got black. Beard Bay, so we're going to mark off. Yes, Black Beard Bay. And then we had, what do we have? Skull Cove. D O V E. Okay, Treasure Cove. Tre T R E A S U. R E C O V E. So we have Treasure Cove, Dolphin Bay. We're looking for Skull Cave. So S K U L L C A V E. OK, so now we're T E A C H E R. Teacher. I S is. Oh, we forgot to get rid of Anchorage. That was one of our locations, remember? So we need to. Eliminate Anchorage. H E L D. Teacher is held. C A P T I V E. Captive. F O U R for F O U R L E A. Oh, I forgot a Z. L E A G U E League. Z. There's an S. Uh, W E S T West O F of A N C H O R A G E Anchorage. OK, so that's what we need to type in here. In all caps. Teacher. Is held. Out. 
active four leagues of Anchorage. Great work. We now know the teacher is held captive four leagues west of An Anchorage. Four leagues is equal to how many miles? Well, in order to determine that, you have to know what one league is equal to. So one thing we could do is come on here and what is one league equal to? Uh, 2.4. Okay, so we're going to do a middle and we'll do a th three. So if she's four leagues, that would be 12 miles, right? Because four times three is 12. Where have they taken the teacher? They've taken her Blackbeard Bay. You find and escape your teacher from the pirates. You even make it back to the class in time for math. Nice. All right, so we just have to make sure you've got your sheet here. So these were the different, these were the five points. This was Skull Cave. <clears throat> and it said that there was an anchor. So this was one of them. Treasure, we saw that. So this is where she's at. All right, you guys. Well, wow, that was super fun. I had a really good time with that. Um, hopefully you can do this at home. I'm going to put those links on our channel so you're able to do some of this as well. I'll have that reference sheet. Um, I'll even post, I'll just post the whole file um, like I did here because all you have to do is click it and it'll open up what you need. So, we were able to do this in 40 minutes. I'm very excited because I had not done this before. So um, hopefully you had a good time. I know I did. Uh, and uh, I'm always up for suggestions for escape rooms. So see you in the next video. Thanks for being a part of it.